Alright, uh, only the front of the camera works though. Right. Hopefully I'm in the frame and everything. I should be coming all over the place. What a good. This is Archangel Raphael, aka Mr. Chihiro, aka uh, Big Boss Baby, the Chihiro. Uh, this is the Astro Man. I never had no one to land less than you. This is the Family Man stretching on my right hand. Go ahead and grab one and let's take off together. Oh, man, that's change being the only universal constant. This is Dr. Strange. I never had no one to blame. Always took a stand for what the fuck I am. Wee! I know I wasn't in the frame there, but it's all good. Um, so that's it. Uh, it's life being married to karma. It's God being married to the universe. I'm here to remind you and let you know the fact that we are not separate from God. We individually and collectively make up what God is. I am God. You are God. We are God. So, um... So what's usually the material God's world already purity and presence and essence? And on today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the nature of um what it means to do the right thing. Cause it's not about a belief or like you have a total submission and faith in a higher power that's higher than you or some shit. Like the most high is you. You're supposed to be the most high. Whatever that takes, you'll utilize an herb, you'll utilize a natural substance and uh, do alchemical work in your spirit and your soul to make up <clears throat> different configurations of what reality is leading you to because God is always like walking you through a certain path leading you through certain travels right but when you don't believe in God at the same time that's when you can have that individuality and you know actually acclaim your independence and move forward and take accountability and take action but when you don't do it the right way, that's because you don't believe in God. So when you when you do believe in God, that's when you can do it the right way. Which then you don't believe in God because God's not going to do shit for you. So that's when you in, in, embody the belief that you are God, that you that, that you're not separate from God. So that's where it that that's where that duality exists because light and darkness, of course. But when you are the light, when you are God, then you could be like, okay, now I'm dwelling into the darkness. Now I'm believing there is no God. Because people, especially humans and demons, don't want to regard and see me and all the other archangels. Shout out to the whole angelic force, angels uh, descending a little to do greater works and evolve and move up the ranks into archangels. That way we can leave this shit and stop doing this shit for eons and we can move forward because we're descendants of the seraphim as archangels. Um, and, you know, demons becoming angels, but without their gifts and their talents could go to waste. Um... This is the right boss from the right flight. Go ahead and catch it with me here at the airplane. So yeah. When you say certain things and take certain actions to find your purpose in life and get into the right situational context and energy and rhythmic orientation you need to have to actually create the new life you're destined for it it's a whole process you got to go through it's a progression you have to work towards it's a, tra it's a whole lineage of travels you got to walk through and karmically are destined to serve in order to move up and evolve through and work through and become more than so you know this whole work that we're doing right now is regarding all of that It's been so many times I've been hiding from my It's all been losing self accommodation and total agreeance with myself. So don't let me down. Don't you let me know? Cause it's one way, one way that I do this. And there's no way, no way I let anyone tell, including myself. And yes, I'm falling into you, baby. Okay, cool. So look, um. <clears throat> Let 
man, this is, this is Archangel Raphael. Make sure you watch every video on this channel because each video is a whole album, a whole movie on its own, and each one is that important because each one, like every day, like every video I make, is some entirely new, some change, some big, I'm like a whole different person. Still me, the love doesn't change, it's unconditional, but at the same time, um, the thing that does change is me existing. That way I could exist properly, because if I don't change that, then there could be no doing the right thing. There could be no ease, there could be no peace, there could be none of that shit. This is why a lot of, uh, especially fallen angels, will manifest themselves in hellish conditions because of that situation. They might manifest, you know, peace out of that, and security, and respect, and a lot of the different things, but that doesn't always mean eternal peace. That doesn't mean eternal salvation. <clears throat> salvation meaning, like, salvating. Like, the saliva, the bodily fluids that you carry and emanate are clean, they're pure, so it doesn't smell, it doesn't have that, neg you know, it doesn't have any of those toxic connotations to them. Where, uh, if you were just to be an animal, you'd be homeless. Or if you weren't homeless, you'd, get you'd be forced to rely on a upon adop adoptation um, and genetic mutiology to be uh, reincarnated into an animal body. Where, if you've already done that, been through it, um, you came into a certain vessel that was human perhaps at one point and then evolved to something that wasn't living a whole lifetime somewhere else that had nothing to do with this planet here on earth or you know with human life conditions orient around because there's lots of alien life here extraterrestrial life that come from afar but they're so mutilated to the point where they don't even know how to uh mutilate the right way they don't know how to carry forth the torch of righteousness the right way so they end up thinking righteousness is oh uh i'm just gonna you know be be a be an artist and hopefully i can be assigned to some contract outside of myself and i don't have to take accountability for nothing and i could just live my life like the way and that's uh that's bound to help you create uh, more reincarnation that's bound to make you more susceptible to things that are not going to fulfill uh, everything that you're hoping to fulfill it's actually, it's actually going to lead to something that's not you don't want so long story short what I want to sum it up for the courage right now to really love myself into is um takes so much greatness that you have to believe in yourself and like you might not know what to do and you might not know how to do it but as long as you have this heart and you have this like will to carry forth to do the thing that's gonna be good with you know whatever you believe God or Allah or uh, Bhagwan or Abraham or however the fuck you wanna phrase it right to be or, you know, fucking the most high or uh, whatever the fuck the other shit is that they talk about. They reference in their Jesus. That, that shit, you know what I'm talking about. The other word that is prominent they use in humanity. Um, leave a comment in the description or something if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Yashu, y Yahweh. There we go. Okay. So, um, which is basically the North Star, but... That's where the whole uh, thing of sacrifice, sacrificial lamb, and all this shit comes from. Is uh, they want to sacrifice something, right? Okay, so Jesus was apparently a pescatarian, according to the shit. Um, so, that's still blood, right? Um, leading to his tragic end of. Um, which, aside from that, he was vegetarian, but then it's animal 